By the end of this lesson, the cadet shall be expected to follow a magnetic bearing point to point. It is important for cadets to know how to determine the magnetic bearing of a prominent object, take a magnetic bearing on a map, and follow a magnetic bearing so they will be able to navigate a route during orienteering and expedition training. Another use for a compass is to actually measure a bearing from an object to an object. So for example, if I want to tr travel to the travel trailer or to the camper, I would, uh, I would be able to measure a bearing. So I start off with my compass at zero. I'm going to hold it nice and flat. I use the sighting mirror to do my work. I turn the compass dial so that the orienteering arrow lines up with the magnetic needle. And then I can just read my bearing at the top of the compass dial here, the one that lines up with the luminescent point. And we get a bearing of 1900 mils. The ability to measure a bearing from a map allows cadets to plan routes or activities before going into the field and allows an easy method of communicating information about movement or location. Now we're going to cover how to measure a magnetic bearing on a map. We have a map of Cape Real and today we're going to plan on going from the town of Cape Real to Ella Lake. If we look at the map north is pointing up, we know that generally we're going to be going in an east direction to go from Cape Real to Ella Lake. Next I'll show you the step-by-step -step process on how to get your magnetic bearing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a pre, uh, the predetermined declination on our compass. We've done that already our uh, compass uh, declination for this region and for the time is uh, 9 degrees west so that has been set we're going to identify and mark the start point with an A and a B so we want to go from Capriol let's say the edge of the sea like that an A and we want to go on the island of Ella Lake and that's going to be our B. Next what we're going to do is we're going to mark a line. Let's use a binder here. Now we're going to mark a plotting ray between our two points like that so right away if we're looking at the map and north is at the top of the map we know that we're going to be going in an easterly direction it's going to be just slightly above uh, 1600 mils. Alright, that makes sense. Now we put our compass, we open our compass flat and we use the base and the sighting mirror and we put that on our plotting ray in the direction of travel. Okay. Now we're going to hold the compass in place and we're going to rotate the compass dial so that the compass meridian lines align with the easter easting lines on the map okay so our eastings are the up and down lines on the map and our meridian lines are the ones that are the black lines that are located in the uh, center of the compass dial always make sure that your north is aligned with the north on the map but your compass is pointing in the direction of travel all right. Now you're actually just going to read the um, the number 
on the compass uh, at the luminous index point. All right, so that value is roughly 1800 mils. Let's see if you can see that. 1800 mils, which makes sense because east is 1600 mils. And we already knew from a rough look at it that we'd be heading in an easterly direction. All right? So that is how you set your magnetic bearing by measuring a magnetic bearing off a map. All right, so let's uh, cover another example. We're going to go from uh, Lac Saint-Jean. North tip of Lac Saint-Jean is going to be A. And we want to travel to this point here on Moose Lake. So that is B. Considering that our map is at the top of our map is north, we know that we're going to be going roughly west. So I'm going to mark my plotting ray from A to B. Like that. I'm going to lay my compass flat on my plotting ray. Next, I'm holding the compass and I'm going to turn my meridian lines so that they line up with the eastings on the map, like that. And I always make sure that my compass is pointing in the direction of travel from A to B. I read my bearing and it gives me roughly 4900 mils which makes sense because 4800 mils is west all right so we're in the field now we're going to put uh, some applications to the test here um, for this example we uh, we would have been given a bearing to travel and a distance to travel by our uh, section commander uh, or something that we've taken off the map. So let's travel at, let's say roughly 4,200 mils. So I'm turning the compass dial so that it points to 42. Next, I'm gonna adjust my, I'm gonna set myself up so that my compass is nice and flat. I adjust the sighting mirror so that I can see what's going on in the compass dial. And then I align the compass so that the magnetic needle is inside the orienteering arrow, or red is in the bed. And I'm taking a shot off a prominent object. So you can see there's two birch trees. There's one birch tree that's pretty much in line with those two sawhorses. And that's the one that I'm going to be going towards. This is interesting here because we have a water feature, which is basically an obstacle for us. We're not going to send our cadets through that. So I'm going to have to find a way, a safe way around this. I'm going to go down the trail, cross the bridge, and get myself back in front of that white birch tree. And then I'll take another shot. Alright, so I'm carrying on with my bearing of 4200 mils. And for this leg of the route, we're traveling like roughly 1.5 kilometers. So a good trick to improve your accuracy and your chances of getting to your final location is to take the least amount of shots possible. So in this example, we're getting into some pretty thick vegetation here. So it gets a little bit tricky to pick out a prominent object. So we're going to introduce the leapfrog method. I have a cadet in the, uh, that's ahead of me, and I'm going to send uh, that cadet as far as I can to reduce the amount of shots that I'm taking. Carry on! Always have the cadet facing away from you, that way direction is a little bit easier. To the right! 
Okay, forward. To the right slightly. Okay, stop. Move to the right. Stop. Okay, so you can see that we have 4,200 mils set. Our magnetic needle is inside the orienteering arrow. So I'm gonna move the cadet a little bit to the right. Move to the right three paces. Good, good. And now we proceed to the cadet. You can bring your entire section or your entire group. You reset up at that location and then you send your cadet ahead again. That's the leapfrog method. Calculating the bearing that you want to travel on or one of the uh, sections of your route can be done electronically as well. Today we're using the Garmin Base Camp program. So I want to go from, let's zoom in a little bit. I want to go from this cottage across the lake to this cottage. I'm just going to zoom out a bit so that you can see the, uh, the, the buttons that I'm going to be using. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create some waypoints. So you go to new waypoint. I'm going to go from this cottage to that cottage. Next, I want to do a new route. So I'm going from, again, cottage A to cottage B. Right click your mouse to get out of the uh, route application. Then you go to the selector and we're going to go here. Let me zoom in a bit. So for this leg of the route or my bearing to go from A to B, I'd be traveling at 106.8 degrees. I'm going to pull up my iPhone and use the calculator app. So 106.8, 106.8 times 17.8 mils in one degree equals 1901. So I will set a bearing in mills on my compass of 1900 mils. So I have my compass here. I've already calculated my magnetic declination to be 9 degrees west and that's been already set using the adjustment screw. I calculated that to go from cottage A to cottage B I would have to set myself at 1900 mils. So that is set right at the top here, 1900 mils. So the next thing I would do, I will uh, show you how to take a proper uh, shot, but I'm gonna have to hold my compass nice and level, and I would put the magnetic arrow into the orienteering arrow, or my magnetic needle into the orienteering arrow, and or else put red in the bed, and that would be my direction of travel. So I'm standing at cottage A, and I want to travel to cottage B, which is across the lake. Right 
right over there. So we're going to take our compass, setting that to 1900 mils. I want to hold that. I'm going to adjust my sighting mirror. I want to hold that so it is nice and flat. I put my red in the bed and that would be my direction of travel. Once I get there, if I want to come back home, then I would take my back bearing of 5100 mils, so completely opposite on the uh, compass dial, and I turn that to my luminescent point, and that would be my new direction of travel to get back home. Being able to determine the magnetic bearing of a prominent object. Take a magnetic bearing on a map and follow a magnetic bearing will assist the cadets in navigating a route during orienteering and expedition training.